Hi, I'm Dave Anderson. At the 1985 U.S. Nationals in Arizona, I met a lot of the top shooters of the day. 1985 was also the first I ever heard of Ernie Hill. Through the late 1980s, Ernie Hill speed leather dominated practical shooting competition like no other holster before or since. These are 1988 photos of some of the top shooters sponsored by Springfield Armory. Check out the holsters. Except for Jerry Barnhart and Brian Enos, who are using Safari Land holsters, virtually every shooter was using Ernie Hill Speed Leather. Here's Ernie with Jerry Barnhart and Chip McCormick at the banquet following the 1989 Steel Challenge. In July 1987, I arranged for national and world champion Rob Latham to put on a competition shooting seminar for some of our local club members. You aim to the left side a little bit. Okay. Aim more on the left side of the tape spot. Stand by. Ready? Trigger straight back now. Into the box and get your arms up. And you're looking at the spot you want your foot. Now bend your knee. Your pop is exactly the same. Okay? Back then, almost all of us used Ernie Hill speed leather. While the group is having lunch and a brief nap, I'm going to try and borrow one of their rigs. Here's a complete Ernie Hill Speed Leather rig with the 666F holster. The belt is steel lined. The entire holster body is made of steel covered with top grade leather. Top and bottom adjustment screws provide a precise fit to the gun. The steel lined fender attaching the holster to the belt can be interchanged to adjust muzzle rate from straight up and down to muzzle forward. The 666F was initially named for Rob Latham and Brian Enos although first Brian and later Rob later moved to Safari Land. The pistol is the 38 Super AccuComp LE by Wilson Combat. I'll have more about the pistol on my 1911 pages. Newer designs with an infinite range of adjustments eventually took over, but no single holster has ever dominated competition the way Ernie Hill did. Well, I see the guys are about to finish their nap, so I better get this equipment back. Keep watching this old tape, and you'll see Robbie pull off some mighty quick draws. Shut that off.